Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another Lord of the Rings LCG playthrough. And this time uh, I am playing two-handed. So uh, I have found out the hard way that I don't enjoy playing true solo on uh, when playing Lord of the Rings LCG. Uh, the game is just not balanced for one deck playing. Uh, which is a shame, but it is what it is. So uh, I have been dabbling into two-handed play, and now that I have the Angmar Awakened Hero expansion, I decided to try out the starter decks from that expansion uh, that you build with the cards from the Angmar Awakened uh, Hero expansion and the core uh, revised core set. So uh, you should have two pretty decent decks uh, straight out of the box and because I'm really bad at building decks for Lord of the Rings LCG uh, with the lack of experience I decided to uh, do my first two-handed play with the starter decks and uh, these are the starter decks I am using so we have the Dun Dunedain deck uh, which is which has the uh, Amran Thrull, uh, Halbrad, and Aragorn heroes. Then we have the elves, which has uh, Arwen, Eowyn, and Glorfindel. And uh, if you want to check out what cards car you need for these decks, you can just freeze the video and check out the deck list here. But I won't put these links into the video or this deck list into the video description because if you buy the Angmar Awakened hero expansion you will get the hero the or the deck lists or you can just copy them from this video but uh, the basic gist of these decks are that you will want to be engaged with enemies with the Dunedain uh, Aragorn's ability is to grab when when defeating enemies he, uh, he can grab enemies from other players engage with other players uh, so uh, if if these elves that really want to quest uh, draw and discard cards to do fun stuff if they have too many enemies to deal with then Aragorn will just uh, help defeat something and then pull another enemy out of them on top of them and the Dunedain will get boosts from the enemies engaged with them and yeah that is basically it um, the Dunedain will do the fighting and the elves will do the questing. So, uh, without further delay, let's get started. Okay, well, uh, we have done the setup. So, we have the Goblin Troop uh, set aside. Uh, then, we have the Eaves of Mirkwood in play in the staging area. We are ready to flip this card over. So, we have the after the raid. So, um, <laughs> also I forgot to say that we are playing the old scenario from the, the Dark of Mirkwood uh, expansion, which has two scenarios. Uh, I really like these scenarios much more than the core box ones, so that is why I'm playing them. This time I still don't have access to the campaign box of the uh, Angmar Awakened, but I will be surely making videos out of those scenarios once I get the campaign box at, uh, at hand. So, um, we have the after the raid, we need 9 progress on this quest to advance, and we'll draw our opening hands. We'll start with the Dunedain. Uh, Dunedain are the first player, so let's see what 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we are really trying to get the uh, Steward of Gondor in our hand as fast as possible. Well, uh, there are only a couple of allies or, or three allies, but nothing really, really good. Well, gather information when this stage is defeated. Uh, we could search for the Steward of Gondor, but I'm not liking these allies, so I will mulligan. We'll do the hard mulligan to try to get the Steward of Gondor right away. 
and there are three copies of it in the deck so we should be able to grab one at least one okay so this is the final hand the dune dinosaurs well uh we got it so we got the steward of condor sneak attack uh, ranger provisions snowborn scout uh daredingle warrior uh, which is an end it's not a dune but it, it is an end and ranger summons so uh we also have the set as uh, set aside the ranger of the north cards which we need for this card too. Uh, so that is that and uh, I'll try to keep my hand in view underneath here it, it is uh, a bit hard to read the cards but at least you can get the, uh, some idea of what hand cards I have okay then we'll go to the elves one two three four five six uh, double back, unexpected courage, uh, Dwarven Tomb, Henmark River Song, Protector of Lorien, and Galadrim Weaver. Oh, I'm actually liking this hand. We we really want to see the unexpected courage and Protector of Lorien early on, and of course the silver. Um, what is what it is called the well, the, the instrument you play, harp, yeah, silver harp uh, in play early on, so you can really start discarding and drawing cards back from the discard. But we'll keep this hand and start from here. Uh, so, first off, the Dunedain start their turn, uh, so we just grab the resources for a moment over here. We'll add resources. And we draw a card. And we get the Dunedain Hunter. Then uh, we get resources over this side. And we draw gather information. Well, we have plenty of choices for side quests now. So, uh, first off, we will use these two leadership heroes to play Stuart of Gondor. And we will immediately use the Stuart of Gondor and generate two resources for uh, Amratul. And uh, let's see, do we want to play some cores over here? We really don't need that many other resources. We could still play these two. Our range of provisions is good also. Mm. Let's see, this is a zero cost, so force after Dunedain Hunter and just play a set of five cards, then come to deck for a non unique enemy and put it into play and get with you. If no enemy enters play, by this effect, this card Dune Down Hunter Shuffle the Encounter deck. So we definitely want to play it because we want enemies engaged with us. So let's see. I uh, will. Uh, yeah, let's do do the, it this way. So we'll play uh, the Snowborn Scout and we'll. Place one progress token on this location. Then we will play Ranger Summons. And we'll shuffle one. Let's see how this works. So shuffle one of your set aside Ranger of the North Allies with the Encounter keyword into the Encounter deck. Then remove Ranger uh, Summons from the game. So I'll remove this from the game. I'll shuffle one of these into the encounter deck. So that will make the encounter deck lighter for us. So 
Uh, the Ranger of the North reads, uh, when revealed, the first player chooses a player to take control of Ranger of the North, then uh, either deal two damage to an enemy or place two progress on to a location. So that will help us quite a lot. Okay, so that's shuffled in. And Aragorn, uh, being a tactician, plays uh, Dunedain Hunter. So we'll reveal the top five cards. One, two, three, four, five. And we get Goblin Sniper. It is an ununique enemy. The others will shovel back into the encounter deck. And I'm just double checking. So. Yeah, so it comes into playing gates with us, so that's good. Then um, we'll go to the planning phase with the elves. We don't have anything other to play. Or uh, Aragorn can't play the other two one cost cards. So. Uh, I think we need to gather information more, so we'll put that into play. Then uh, I think double back isn't that necessary. Uh, we'll play Protector of Lorien onto Arwen. We'll play Unexpected Courage onto Arwen. And I'll use double back and uh, I'll use the Dwarven Tomb. Then, uh, oh yeah, uh, those cost that much. Then uh, I will discard this to gain one resource on to. Glorfindel and Glorfindel will play Hemrath the River song. So a pretty decent um, first planning phase. So we'll go to the questing phase. Uh, I will quest with the whole lot of these. So we'll quest and we'll decide to go gather information, not the main quest yet. So uh, three, uh, seven, ten. And uh, and because we are engaged with an enemy, uh, uh, let's read. Halbarad has the text. While you are engaged with at least one enemy, Halbarad does not exhaust to commit to a quest. So we'll commit Halbarad to a quest also. So we are at twelve. Then uh, uh, let's see. Do we want to do anything else? I think that's good enough for questing. Uh, I think that's overkill for questing. We are uh, 12 against 2, so, well, we need 4. So let's guarantee that we gather information. And uh, then. Uh, Yeah, so uh, we'll get the encounter card uh, first for the Dunedain. We we'll get the Goblin Trail, and we get Doom to one. When revealed, each player must choose either raise your threat by one for each questing character you control, or discard the questing character, a questing character you control. Well, this is really, really bad. I think. Um, Think about it for a moment. Okay, well, uh, the doomed raises our threat level by one already. Then, uh, we can't discard any of the questing characters we control because they're all heroes, so. We'll do the raise the threat, so we raise it by one, because only 
Halbarad is questing and we can raise it by three over here. Okay, that, that sucks because we had uh, the double back in hand, so that would have been really good to lower the threat. But it is what it is. And that is the questing. Uh, so we'll come five against 12, so seven. So we pass this. So gather information. Uh, we'll put it over here and we'll search our deck. And we really want to get the harp into play. So silver harp. And uh, mm, I think we want to find a sword for Aragorn. So, Sword of Numenor. So we'll get those cards. Well, no more enemies, so uh, I think this is, will be an easy uh, fight phase. So, yeah, uh, next we go to travel phase, so uh, we'll actually, because it seems to be an easy situation at the moment, we'll go travel to the Goblin Trail first. And uh, we reveal the top card of the encounter deck. This spiders of Merkwood. So that's good. We can defeat those also. Okay. So uh, we'll go to the quest, uh, to the combat phase. So uh, we'll engage these enemies. Then uh, I'll defend with the Snowborn Scout against the spiders of Merkwood. And I'll defend with this uh, against the Goblin Spider. So I'll just do this to clarify who's defending what. So this um, has a combat of four against defense of one, so this is defeated. Then, oh yeah, I've always forget this, so we'll get the shadow cards first. We resolve this first, so no shadow effect so this is defeated then this uh, attacking enemy gets plus one fight return attacking enemy to the staging area after this attack well uh, it's still two fights so yeah whatever but we have Aragorn so <clears throat> let's see so Aragorn will hit for three and We'll hit for two more, and this has defense of one only because of Aragorn. So we are hitting five versus uh, one defense, so four is enough. We defeat this spider, and let's read Aragorn. So response after Aragorn participates in an attack that destroys an enemy, choose an enemy not engaged with you, and engage that enemy. So we engage this enemy. And I won't actually defeat it, because this gives me boosts uh, next round. So we'll just ready. And... Uh, we ready these two. These turns are pretty long when playing double-handed, but... Well, it is what it is. So... Both uh, decks are at 35 threat. Uh, we will shift this here, and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We start the round with the resource space, so we add resources to both decks. So let's see, we still need. So I'll just immediately add the Sword of Condor, so I won't forget. Uh, we only have one enemy, so... Uh, Amran Twil has the, while you are engaged with at least two enemies, add one additional resource so, to the pool, but uh, it is not so. 
Okay, well, uh, then we draw cards. We get another unexpected courage. And we get a snowborn scout. Okay. So, first off, we'll play uh, this with Aragorn. Oh, yeah, it's not the. We need to start with the elves. So, the elves are the first player. Mm, I'll play the. I'll use these two resources to play the silver hand. Uh, sil uh, silver harp, I mean. We don't need the unexpected courage at this moment. <clears throat> okay. That is everything we can do. Uh, there's nothing to heal with the uh, Glorfindel, so we'll go planning with the Dunedain. So, um, I'll use th these three resources to play Ranger Provisions, Sword of Numenor, I'll put it on Aragorn, and we'll play a Snowborn Scout, and we'll actually complete this. So, it just gets completed. Then um, we'll use these two resources to play the end. So the Derdingle warrior uh, is a sentinel, cannot have uh, restricted attachments, enters play exhausted. And we can deal the damage to make it a defense plus three to make it a really beefy defender. So that is everything we can play. The Dunedain will go to questing. Again, we'll quest with everything on this side. <clears throat> I'll actually... I'm just thinking, should I check the top part? Well, maybe not. So I'll just... Uh, quest with everything on this side. And I will... Uh, also quest with this ally and we'll quest with that and the rest will stay to fight anything that comes out so we'll get the encounter cards uh, when revealed deal two damage to a character you control well uh, I'll place those damages and this is the first player so we'll deal to Glorfindel then uh, we get Forest Gate. After you travel to Forest Gate, the first player may draw two cards. That is not bad. It is a two threat, but that doesn't matter. Uh, let's count. We have uh, two from there. Uh, five, nine, twelve. We need to go to thirteen. Six plus six. No. We'll just keep it at, at, oh yeah, plus this, so 13. So we'll defeat this. So uh, response when Goblin Trail leaves play as an explorer's location, place to six, progress to the current quest. This is a victory tree, so it goes to the victory display. We'll place six here, and the rest goes, so uh, before that we'll trigger this. So after attach location is explored, the first player adds one resource to each of their heroes' resource pools. So we get resources here, here, and here. And uh, then we advance this. So, Mercwood Forest. So this goes to the quest deck we have completed. Mercwood Forest. When revealed, each player says send counter deck and discard pile for a forest location and adds it to the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck. This stage cannot be defeated unless at least one copy of Goblin Trail is in the victory display, which we already have, so we can just uh, just try to power through this. Uh, let's see, we want we don't want spider then. Another forest gate sounds good. 
and uh, tangled grove. Could travel there next, or actually, we need cars in hand for for the elves. So we'll take a tangled grove and forest gate. Shuffle the encounter deck. So we'll put this into the staging area. Uh, next up, we'll travel to the forest gate. And uh, after you travel to the forest gate, the first player may draw two cards. So we draw two cards. We get Elven Jeweler and Hasty Stroke. So those will be helpful. Uh, we'll go to encounter phase, so no enemies to engage, and we'll go to combat. Uh, there's only this side to combat, so we will mm, deal a shadow card. I will defend with. Uh, I'll defend with Amran Tuil. The steward is exhausted also. So, two and shadow attacking enemy makes an additional attack immediately after this one. Deal a new shadow card for that attack. Okay. So, nothing goes through. And I'll defend for the second attack with Alprad. Two plus nothing, so that is it, and Aragorn will just slay that enemy. And no enemies to engage with Aragorn's ability, we ready up. And uh, we raise the threat to level by one, and we Put the Dunedain as the first player next round. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources. So one well, I'll, again I will put three here. We use the steward of Gondor at the first opportunity. Then we here one, two, three. We get cards, uh, we get the uh, Glowine, and another Derdingle Warrior. Okay. Mm, Dunedain start by. Well, now we don't have the tactics uh, sphere of influence on Amru. Um, the name is um, Amar Twil. <laughs> These names are killing me. So we can't play that yet, but we have uh, Arwen, and Arwen says we'll discard a card from hand, and we say that the Silver Harp will return the card back to our hand, and we'll add one resource to Aragorn. Now Aragorn will play this guy. That is everything we play from that side, and. Uh, We'll go to the elves. Uh, I will play this. I'll also spend one to heal one Glorfindel. Then uh, I will draw a card with the Dunedain. Okay, well, not helping us this round, but next round. I'll spend two resources to play Elden Jeweler. Then we'll spend two resources to play. Uh, we'll put this on Glorfindel. That's to a hero, exhausted, unexpected, curious, ready. So now we have a bit of fighting. Glorfindel going on. And that is the planning phase done. Uh, we'll go to 
questing. So again, we are questing with everything on this side. I'll just quest with these two. Then on this side, I'll just quest with this. And uh, yeah, if we get enemies, we need to defeat them pretty soon. So we are questing uh, 3, 4, uh, 7, 10, 12, 14 against 4. We get uh, 3 and 4. So that is annoying. First action. I'll do the, this that I will just uh, discard this to search for. It is a quest in action, so we'll get a spider enemy. And uh, yeah. We get a great spider, and that engages on us. Engage with you to this. Okay, so it engages us. We have to exhaust the character we control. I'll just exhaust this useless guy. Okay, so uh, let's count. So we have uh, four, seven against. Um, 10, 12, 14, so 7, so we deal 4 here, 3 here, and we still need 9 to advance that. Then uh, we'll go to uh, the encounter phase, so we won't engage anything here, but we'll engage this here. And uh, yeah, we'll defend. Uh, I'll defend uh, for a spider goes here, and this goes on the second nth. And I'll deal one damage here to get plus five. So this has two, three, four, five, six attack. So we get shadow cards. First is nothing. So we get one damage here. And this gets nothing. And uh, unfortunately, it's the <laughs> uh, Ranger of the North, but it is what it is. At least it didn't deal us any shadow stuff. Okay. And then we will fight. Well, uh, this has defense of one, so uh, this these two will defeat this guy. We don't have any enemies to pull to us, so this guy just will defeat this guy. And those are all the enemies defeated. Oh yeah, travel phase. Uh, we could have traveled somewhere, so we'll actually travel over uh, over here. Yeah, so I forgot the travel phase, but we went back this and traveled to the forest gate. So after you travel to forest gate, we draw, uh, the first player draws two cards. So we draw those for for the Dunedain. Get Ingold and Veteran of the Osgiliath. Okay, and that is everything. We'll go to uh, ready uh, to refresh phase. So we're ready up. That one end is barely holding on, but it is what it is. We add one threat to the dials, and the dials are the first player next round. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources. So uh, again, I'll put three here. One here, one here. We'll just change that to a 3 
one here, one here, one here. We get cards, uh, we get uh, element lights, then we get faint, so pretty decent cards to get. First off, we have plenty of guys, ally, allies to play, so uh, not nearly as much room on the play, player mat for the allies, but I'll just spread them over here. So we'll play Ingold, we'll play the veteran of Skiliath. And uh, that is it. We don't need any more. Oh yeah, and the elves didn't play anything. We'll go to questing. Uh, we'll quest with all of these again. Again, not exhausting every card with the characters. So these all quest. And uh, now we don't need to quest Alvarad because we don't have enemies. Uh, we are questing uh, 10, 13 against um, 1. And we'll discard Elven Light. Then we'll use the Silver Hub to return it back into our hand to boost us to 15. Well, we'll actually do that after we get the encounter cards. So we are 13 actually uh, we'll change this up a bit. So we paid for the couple of cards a bit differently. So we'll do this so in gold will also quest with three. So let's count now. Uh, 10, 13, 16 against one. Uh, when reveal discard the card of each player's deck until the end of the phase, increase goblin scavengers, threat by the total of printed cost of all cards discarded in this way. One, uh, four, and it's Faram here, which is a shame, and one, so five, so six, seven. Uh, each player must search the encounter deck and discard pile for a goblin enemy and put it in the playing gates with them. Shuffle encounter deck. This can't be cancelled. Well, let's see. We'll just grab these annoying. Enemies. Like so. Good way to get rid of the goblin snipers because they will get immediately engaged with us, so they won't lurk in the staging area. Okay. So this boy, guy was. Uh, 6 and 7 versus 10, 11, 13, 16. Uh, we can't commit Halbarad anymore. 16. So now we'll go to 17, Golden Harp. We'll use the Protector of Lorien. Go to 18. Then we'll do another action. We'll return this to hand. Draw a card. Then we'll play it again. So plus 3, so we are 19. And that is the max we'll, we can go, or we want to go at this moment. So 19 versus 7. So 12, uh, 4 goes here, so 8 goes here. We're one away from advancing. Uh, 
uh, we don't want to advance yet, we want to deal with these enemies, then advance, because next we need to defeat a big enemy, so we don't want too many enemies at that stage. We'll go to the combat phase, this enemy will... we don't uh, engage and we engage here. And uh, before that we'll travel here. And uh, that is the engagement done, so we'll go to combat, we deal, uh, shadow cards, then we'll start from here, uh, we'll use the unexpected courage to ready, both of these, I'll defend with Arwen. Uh, two plus, uh, choose and discard one attachment from the defending character. Okay, well, it is the protector of Lorien. And we don't take any damage. Then we'll go here. Uh, we'll use this end to defend for the... For this one. We can take one damage. We don't uh, exhaust. So... Uh, nothing, so we take one damage. And this one we'll take with... Yeah, let's defend with this one. So nothing. Then Aragorn will defeat this one. We'll just grab this here, because we want to get we have one engaged with us, and we'll just defeat this one. And that is it. Uh, we'll go to refresh phase, so ready everything. So much to ready. Okay. And we add threat to the dials, so 38 on both. And we put the Dunedain as first player for next round. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add resources. So again, three here. And one, both of these. One to all of these. Then we get cards, so we get the test of will and a snowborn scout. Okay. Let's see. Um, what do we want to play over here? So I'll play the uh, honor guard. We'll use these resources, because now we have an enemy engagement, so we have the Tactics Sphere of Influence over there. Just actually put this into level from now on. Okay, and... Uh, might as well play this guy. Put one progress over there. That's everything. Uh, we'll go to the elves. Uh, we will play the long defeat onto this. We'll heal one damage of, of Chlorfindel. That is everything we want to play. We'll actually draw a card before we decide if that's everything. So that's interesting. So Erebor, Hammer, Smith, we could do this a bit differently. Well, I think we don't need to. So mm. We'll 
spend one to play Elven Light and we draw a card. Okay. Then we discard Elven Light to gain a resource here. Then we will use the harp to not discard it. Actually, no, not yet. So we discard it, but we'll play it again. One more discard to draw a card. Got another elven light. Now we're cooking with fire. Um, I think that's everything we want to do at this point. We'll go to questing, so again we'll quest with all of these. Uh, then, do we need more? Need one there, I think ten is enough. So don't quest, well, uh, might as well quest with Ingold. So, 13 against 0, we get uh, Warks, force after Wild Warks engage you, discard the top card of the encounter deck, if that card is copying enemy into play, engage with you. And Gobl Goblin Trail, okay, well, that is 5 against uh, 10, this should be 12, 15, so... Two goes here. That's defeated. We resolve this. So after that quest is defeated. Oh yeah, this goes to a quest. Not the well, that quest is defeated. So after that, that quest is defeated, this player either draws two cards or heals up to five damage from among characters they control. And I'll uh, draw two cards with the Dunadine. Uh, veteran arm. Axe hand and another end. And we'll withdraw cars because we don't have any damage to heal here. So we get a fair and perilous. Okay, that's great. And another Cleo wine. Well, We'll go to the uh, encounter phase, so we engage this with this, and we discard the top card, so not a goblin, so we don't have to engage anything else. Okay, and we traveled here. Oh yeah, and this advanced. So, let's, let's back up. So, uh, this advances. So, the rear guard. This stage cannot be defeated while Goblin Troop is in play. When this stage is defeated, the heroes discover the trail to the Goblin's secret lair and players in the game. And uh, when revealed, this the first player adds the set aside Goblin Troop to the staging area. Each other player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a Goblin enemy and adds it to the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck. So this goes to the staging area. Uh, Then we uh, shuffle or search. If we grab them from here, we'll add that. Because they are not revealed, they are just added. Oh, yeah, this is the discord, so we don't need to shuffle. Okay, <clears throat> so. A lot of goblins. Well, well, well. Um, we'll just... Oh yeah, and this is when you engage. So now we would have discarded and we didn't get an enemy. Then uh, we'll just grab one of these. Then this engages these, this engages these. 
Okay. Now we need to kill off the goblin troop, then advance, get six here to win the game. Oh yeah, and now we travel over here. And let's see. First off, we will uh, just add the shadow cards now, so I won't forget. Okay, mm. we'll take the goblin troop with this. We'll defend uh, the smaller one here with this. We'll defend with this or this. And then uh, we'll be ready. Both of these, and I'll uh, defend this with this, this with this. We'll start from here. Uh, this is uh, choose and discard one attachment from the defending character. Okay, there are none, so this just gets defeated. Then uh, this one, two against one. Attacking enemy gets plus one combat. Return attacking enemy to the staging area after this attack. Okay, well, bye bye. This is defeated. No, it's not. Uh, we'll take two damage. Still has one health remaining. Next up, uh, two against two, and if this attack is undefended, it's not. Okay, then uh, these, so against Arwen, uh, one against two, so the one damage to an exhaust character you control, I'll just put it on the one. Then this one against Glorfindel and uh, add Stalking Goblin to the staging area. Oh damn. Okay, then... Uh, Let's uh, think about it for a moment. Well, um, we need... Uh, this has two defense because of Aragorn. So we need eight to defeat that. So Aragorn will attack. This will attack. That's six. This will attack. That's eight. So we defeat this and... We add one resource from the Sword of Numenor. Then, we have the Works. They can handle three, so I'll just kill them with this. Oh yeah, and we'll grab one enemy from somewhere. Uh, let's grab it from here. No, no. Uh, We want to grab this so it won't wound us. Okay, there are other enemies during the encounter phase. Okay, so now I could... So I'll just grab this enemy. Mm. And... Uh, do you have anything to kill of that? Will I have? The veteran of Osgiliath will defeat that one. Then... Uh, oh, I think that's everything we need. So we'll go to ready phase. We ready. So these are engaged with us still. And we just need to rush to complete this next quest phase to win. Okay, so ready everything. Uh, transfer this, add one threat to the dial. So 39 on both, so we are pretty good, well set for defeating the scenario. So that is that round, let's go to the next round.
Uh, we add resources, so uh, one, two, three, three over here. One and two. Cards, uh, Steward of Condor, useless for us at the moment, and hasty stroke. Okay, well, we just ignore the enemies. We will go questing everything we got, so. Unfortunately, we don't have a uh, Faramir, so we could just make this silly, but it is what it is. So, planning phase will uh, play Airbor Hammersmith, uh, will grab the Protector of. Let's see. No, uh, it's a topmost, a long defeat, so we'll just return that. And uh, I think that's it, so we'll then play. Might as well play this. And nothing else. We'll go to questing. Uh, we'll quest with everything we got. Oh yeah, this should be ready. So this will also quest. And then we count. Uh, yeah, this will quest also. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. From this side. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 against two, three, shuffle the encounter, discard part would be the new encounter deck, uh, ranger of north, we'll put it here, get uh, well yeah it searches and two so uh five six uh, versus twenty something so we put six here that adds six here that's enough so we pass this and win the scenario so that went pretty well um well the game lasted a bit over an hour in total yeah, well, 200 play, uh, a quick scenario, takes one hour to play, that's decent. And, uh, well, we managed to win with the starter decks, this uh, Angmar Awakened starter decks feel pretty well, good. I think I will try the second scenario with the same uh, combination of decks next time. So, I hope you guys like this playthrough, thanks for watching, and until next time.